Welcome to the 1022 Companion. I've had a couple of bolts modified by Q's Bolt and Barrel Works and I wanted to show you the uh, difference between the modified bolt and the one that comes standard with your new rifle. There are seven differences that I'll take you on a tour of right here. The first is that the bolt face is machined so that it's perfectly square and also perfectly flat and the head space which is the depth of this pocket that the case head fits into is exactly 0 .0425 inches which is the same depth as in a match grade bolt action rifle. You can see the broad wear pattern across the, uh, the bolt face which indicates it's got a perfect mating with the breech face of the barrel. Here is the OEM bolt First, you can see how much narrower the contact area is. You can also see a lot of the casting marks. There's a view that shows you the casting marks. The face of the bolt's still fairly rough. And most of the OEM bolts are machined with a slightly deeper headspace pocket in order to uh, function reliably with a wide range of uh, different quality ammunition, including the cheapest of the cheapest. So that's the first difference. The second is at the rear of the bolt. Let's look at this back edge of this. Ruger bolt, you can see that it's very square. And what that means is it hits the hammer as it comes back to cock the hammer. The <clears throat> rework bolt by Q has a radius or a curve ground into it so that when it comes and hits the hammer, it glides over the hammer. The curve basically acts like a ramp. That reduces the amount of force necessary to cock the hammer and uh, increases reliability. It helps the bolt work well with uh, subsonic ammunition if you're working if your rifle has a can on it. Um, the third thing is that the firing pin, going back to the bolt face, it's going to be hard to pick up. I think the firing pin is reprofiled so that it's a little sharper and a little shorter at the in terms of vertical height than on the OEM firing pin, and what that does is it gives you a more forceful impact on the smaller area of contact with the case rim and that gives you better more reliable ignition. Fourth in the uh, the rework bolt there's a hardened pin that's been fit into a hole drilled into the upper part of the bolt and that pin sits right above the firing pin and keeps the firing pin from jumping or climbing as the uh, hammer hits the tail. I'm going to try to demonstrate this now. Uh, here's the cued bolt and I'm going to push the firing pin as though I were the hammer and you can see that it can only travel straight forward and back. There's no vertical movement at all. Here's the OEM. You can see there's no pin in here. And if I were to hit the bolt as though I were to hit the firing pin as though I were a hammer, you can see that there's a little bit of possible jump depending on how forcefully the hammer hits and where the bolt is when it hits and all that. And when that firing pin jumps, it doesn't always make good contact with the rim of the case, and that's pretty uh, bad for consistent, reliable, accurate ignition. Fifth, the extractor, which I covered in my most recent article, is modified so that it will grab onto the case a little more tightly. Uh, it's sharpened and reprofiled so that it closes more closely to the center of the bolt. Sixth, the slot for the uh, bolt handle is chamfer. You can see the diagonal lines at the top there. That chamfer makes it a lot easier. Here's the OEM bolt with straight, cut with straight sides on the slot. Makes it a lot easier to uh, get the bolt handle into the bolt um, when you're reassembling the rifle because the bolt handle will hit these ramps and slide into place whereas it's got to be perfectly positioned with the OEM bolt. Seventh all the contact areas on the top and uh, on the uh, inside and on the bottom of the bolt are polished so that the bolt will glide more smoothly over the trigger group and inside the receiver <coughs> as it's um, cycling. Anything that makes it easier for the bolt to cycle makes the rifle more reliable and reduces the chance that you're going to have failures to eject. So for uh, $35, which includes return shipping, Q will do these seven things to your bolt and make it that much better. I hope this was helpful.